All right, guys, uh, we're back again. This is sort of a part two to a costume jewelry video that we made, but it's really not. It's more of a tutorial. Uh, we just purchased a diamond tester. Uh, I don't know the difference between real diamonds and fake diamonds. I have a couple of rings from our costume jewelry and just some other miscellaneous jewelry that we're gonna test. And we'll uh, demonstrate on how to use a diamond tester. All right, so we're gonna unbox, we're gonna open up our tester right now, and then here's the f a couple of rings that we're gonna test, and then uh, we'll go through everything. Okay, so this is what comes with our tester: is the tester itself. We have a little tray here where you can put individual stones, uh, instruction manual, a be beautiful leather case, and a tip protector. Uh, on this tester. It shows you the scale for the diamond. You have your on and off volume switch. You have your battery tester and the tester ready to go light. So this is a diamond selector two. Now on the back of this, you have your temperature grid as well as your size carat size of the stone so what i didn't know uh was that diamonds were tested by temperature as well so you have to determine what temperature it is in the room you are and try to estimate the size of the stone as much as you could uh, according to the manual if you are unsure of any of this always set your tester to number four, and we'll go through that momentarily. This piece of metal here on the back, when you are testing, you are to hold, let me switch hands. So you are to touch, make sure your fingers are touching that piece of metal. So when you're testing it, hold it like this. So I have at least two fingers, three fingers on the tester, okay? Okay, so here, uh, this is just a quick example. When you're testing a stone, do not hold it sideways like this. It has to be straight up and the tip has to be directly on top of the stone. That's the best way to get uh, a reading of the stone you're testing. Sideways like this, you won't get a test. Okay, so the first thing you do is you turn this on. And now we have the first light switch here. When this light switch, when this light lights up, then we are ready for testing. So while we're waiting for that to light up, uh, this here, this top one, let me grab this. This top one is not a light. Uh, most people think because the arrow says abbreviated diamond that this is going to light up. This is not a light here. This is just a screw. So when it goes to a diamond, it's going to go all the way red, all the way up here, and it's going to start beeping. Okay, so now our lamp came on, and our suggested test is because we're assuming we don't know the temperature in the room, so we are gonna set our bar scale to number four, okay? So it's gonna go up a, a light at a time. So once it goes past four, it starts to change a different color. And that's what we want. So now we know we were on test level four. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can do it this way. It might be a little difficult. We're gonna grab this first ring here. Uh, it has a bunch of stones in it. I don't know if they're diamonds or not. Uh, so we're going to give this a really good quick test and see what we got here. So we're going to hold this straight up. We're going to put this right on top of the diamond. And if it goes to red and starts beeping, it is a diamond, which that is not. So now we're going to go to the next stone. That is not either. And then the next stone. That is not diamond. 
So we have a small diamond in this here, a small something that looks like diamond. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's way down here. Uh, but I do want to show you that if you come into contact with metal, this is what happens. You get a false reading. So you have to be con you have to be sure that you are in contact with the stone alone. So we're gonna get right on there. And that stone is not diamond either. So 0 for 2. Uh, let's go here. We have some really small, small diamonds here. So we're going to see if we can get right in there. Non-diamonds. Okay, so these are non-diamonds as well. So this tester comes with a really, really good uh, instruction manual. It tells you about everything that's on the back, like I told you, with the size of the diamonds, what numbers to put your testing bar on, the room temperature, and everything like that. Uh, this was a fairly reasonable uh, cost for this item. Uh, this was 12 bucks on Amazon, so I believe it's worth the investment if you guys are doing anything like we are uh, with storage units and flea markets and costume jewelry or whatever. Uh, I believe this is a, a ideal item to have. Uh, so we've tested... How many did we test? Uh, one, two, three... Uh, this seems to be the same one as the other one. Uh, we have another one here. All right, we're going to give this one a shot. Let me put the phone back down. Okay, now remember, again, your fingers have to be touching this piece of metal in the back. Uh, and you're going to go right onto the stone. So hold the stone down, put it directly down on like that. And we have a diamond, boys and girls. See how it's going all the way up through the red and it is constantly beeping. It is directly on the stone and we found a diamond in the rough. Look at that. So this is going to the jewelry shop with us and we're going to go get this ring appraised and possibly sold. So yay, hey. Nice, we got a diamond. All right, I'm walking over to see if we have anything else on our costume jewelry table that we can test. All right, so we have some pieces here. These, I highly doubt these are diamonds. I'm not even going to test these. These just look so fake. Uh, I don't see anything else that can be diamond. All right, I found a set of earrings uh, that we know that are gold because we tested them last time uh, in our last video. And these have some diamonds in them. So, well, let's hope they're diamonds. All right, so we have the earrings here. Uh, really small two-piece of diamond. Uh, we know these are gold earrings uh, because we tested them. So let's see if these turn out to be diamonds as well. And we seem to have moved up a notch so we want to go back down to four which there we are and let's go right on here and this is not a diamond unfortunately nope wishful thinking 
All right, so we're testing that ring with the diamond that we found. Uh, the first mark here, we put a 10 carat tester on, and it seems to be 10 carat. So we're going to put the 14 carat on right now. All right, it looks like I'm going to have to put it here on the third one because the second one seems to be running in. So let's hope this is 14 carat as well. No, it seems to be 10 carat because the color and the scratches are fading. They're fading slightly. I don't know if it's because maybe I have it mixed with the 10 carat, but we're going to clean this up and then retest it. But if you can see, the 10 carat is 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 seeping over to the third, second line that I made, and it's still not fading. So that diamond ring is at least 10 carat. Okay, we've got a nice mark on here now, and we're going to drop some 14 carat solution on it. And hopefully it is 14. One drop. Now it seems to be 10 carat. I mean, yeah, 10 carat. All right, and we have one more piece I thought over here that I wanted to check. Uh, that's not real. This, I want to see what this is here. These might be some real diamonds. So let's go check these out. All right, so we have just waiting on our light to light up here. Uh, it's highly recommended that every time you are not using this tester to shut it off. So you just have to wait a minute or two for the uh, light, light to light up and be ready. Okay, and there we go. All right, so let's... Uh, Set this to our number four that we know. Three and four. Okay, now let's get this carefully right on top of one of the stones. And that is telling me that that is metal, not even a stone at all. Okay. So it looks like a stone. If it's a continuous beep and it doesn't go all the way up, it is just metal, right? So let's look at that one more time. Continuous beep, it's not moving uh, to the red. So it is just metal. So it looked like a stone to me, but these old eyes... All right, so that was a quick tutorial on how to use a diamond selector. I seem to work very well with this one. Uh, it seems to be very accurate and on point to me. It's easy to work. The instruction manual, what I have not gone over, will cover everything that you need to know. Uh, like, I did, like I said before, make sure that you shut it off when it is not in use. And it also comes with this tip protector. These tips here are very, very sensitive. So you have to make sure that you uh, always keep your tip protector on and then store it in your leather case so it is dust and weatherproof free. And here it is, nice, just about the size of a knife fit right in your pocket and you'd be able to take it with you in case you uh go to any estate sales or anything like that it's handy it's quick and it takes a nine volt battery uh the nine volt battery obviously doesn't come with it but yeah so that was it so we got fucking lucky huh we found a 10 carat diamond 10 carat gold diamond ring what the fuck man all right, we're going to go, uh, not now, but we will bring that to the jewelry shop and uh, we'll get an appraisal on it. All right, so thanks for checking out the video. Hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, keep an eye out for the next one. 
Uh, next one, we'll be doing some more storage units, maybe a yard sale video. Uh, haven't decided which I'm going to do yet. Happy bidding. Happy selling. Good luck to whatever you're doing. Have a great day.